The following clip is presented to you by The Extreme Life of Matt Hardy. Available every Friday wherever you get your podcasts and at ExtremeHardy.com. Well, the streak comes to an end at WrestleMania 30 against Brock Lesnar. I know you're not there, but it was the biggest story in wrestling. Uh, I was there in the building for that, and it was right. legitimately one of the most insane crowd reactions to anything I've ever been a part of in any sport. Uh, what was your reaction to Brock beating the streak? Should it have been saved for somebody else? Should it have ever been broken at all? Um, yeah, I was shocked when it happened. But then the more I look back on it, I thought it was brilliant. And no, I, I, I think Brock is the guy that should have beat him. On, on top of Brock being such a legitimate badass, uh, beating him, I mean, they got so much – they got so much greatness out of Brock, you know, over the next 10 years or so. So, yeah, I, I, I think it was a good call. You think the streak was made to be broken? Well, I think they stumbled upon the streak. Right, you know? right. But, but, but once but they then, leaned into it, I mean, once they leaned into it. As a yeah, thing. once they lean into it, I, I feel like at some point you can make someone really special. I mean, Brock was already made at that time, but, like, it helped take him to another level by ending the streak. I'll play devil's advocate for a minute. Could you make a proper argument that it should have been saved for a Bray Wyatt, a CM Punk, a Dolph Ziggler, someone around that time that needed that one big win that could have taken them to that entire next level? Uh, Dolph Ziggler, no. CM Punk, no. Uh, Bray Wyatt, I could see that being a possibility. Yeah. Especially because they, they are, are characters that both have traces of supernatural, you know, character traits. I, I could see it being Bray Wyatt. That that would have been something that would have been sure. beneficial, especially if you think he's going to be around for a long time. But Brock also fits perfectly because Brock is like legitimately known as like the real deal. So I, I think it fits yeah. and I think it works. Yeah, listen, I'm with you. I, I think at the time I might have been a little confused, but in hindsight, who more realistic to beat the streak than Brock Lesnar? Sure. And when Brock returned in 2012, it was a little less than spectacular. He had some good matches, but it wasn't anything of, oh my God, this guy's this big, gigantic box office draw. And then when he beat the streak, he just took a whole nother level and became this gigantic box office attraction. Mm -hmm. Duplex City comes and everything just elevates to that next level where Brock is right. still one of the most relevant names in pro wrestling today. And, Absolutely. And I think it's directly related to him beating the streak. Uh, I mean, that, 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 that was, that was a huge deal for Brock. It was going to be a huge deal for anyone, but it, it really, for Brock, it took him to another level.